John 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This verse highlights the love of God for humanity and the sacrifice. He made it by sending his Son, Jesus Christ, to offer salvation and eternal life to those who believe in him. Today we want to share with all of you four signs that St. Padre Pio considered Satan is near you, try to control you and you should be careful with these people who have these signs. Please take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel so that as many people as possible can view it. I pray that this message may speak to your heart and draw you closer to the dialogue between souls and the repentance of sinners. Please enter, Amen, if you agree. Our brothers and sisters, please watch till the end of this video because it will create motivation for us to make the other videos. Before coming to the main part of this video, please join us and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father who is in heaven, uphold the holiness of your name. Bring in your kingdom so that your will is done on earth as it's done in heaven. Give us the bread we need for today. Forgive us for the ways we have wronged you, just as we also forgive those who have wronged us. And don't lead us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Our brothers and sisters, everything in your life will be protected and blessed by God. Therefore, if you face anything which is bad or good in your life, please, believe in God and follow God. First of all, you always live in fear every day. Fear is a misapplication of faith, not its absence. The devil wants us to have confidence in something other than God, he does not want to take that faith away from us. Living in Christ means not living in fear. In Bible, the devil is often depicted as a source of evil and fear. The Bible also mentions fear and says that fear is not from God, but from the devil. Peter 5 colon 8, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. The terrifying and terrible nature of fear is like evil, as well as encouraging people to find protection and strength in God to overcome that fear. When you feel fear, please remember that God is always with you and watch what you are doing. God will help you when you need it and give you the sign for your life. Next one, the second sign is that you usually experience unexplained obstacles or difficulties. These obstacles will come from many aspects of your life such as your work, your relationship, and others. These challenges are not just a coincidence or a stroke of bad luck, rather, they are part of a spiritual assault meant to obstruct your route to blessings. To overcome these challenges, we must remain constant in prayer and put our faith in the Lord. The third sign is that you are growing more and more arrogant. Church leaders are prone to developing arrogance very readily. Christians typically fall prey to arrogance in two ways through achievement and through the use of a widely accepted but flawed concept of maturity. Commence with the first. Failure is not the most difficult character test. It's a triumph. This is why. When you're struggling, being humble is really simple. Simply put, it's way too simple to claim all the glory when things go smoothly. For example, Proverbs 16 verse 18, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. This verse emphasizes the negative consequences of arrogance and pride. It warns that when someone becomes filled with pride and a haughty spirit, 
they are setting themselves up for downfall and destruction. It serves as a reminder to cultivate humility and avoid arrogance in our attitudes and actions. Next, you always feel that you are alone and isolated. The devil wants to isolate people and tell lies to people about God. Satan tries to convince humans that we are always alone and God will not be with us anymore. And, our brothers and sisters, please remember that God always stays with us, blesses us, and protects us at any time, anywhere. Psalm 102 verse 6 says, I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. In this verse, the psalmist compares themselves to a solitary desert owl or a lonely owl amidst ruins. The imagery conveys a sense of desolation and being alone in a desolate place. It reflects the feelings of isolation and abandonment that the psalmist is experiencing. This verse captures the emotions of someone who may be going through a period of isolation or feeling disconnected from others. It serves as a reminder that even in times of isolation, God is aware of our circumstances and can bring comfort and solace to those who feel alone. These are four signs that Satan or evil wants to take blessing from you or want to control you. If you meet anyone who has those signs, please, talk to them and explain to them the problems that they are facing. Isaiah 41 verse 10, So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God will be with us, and provide us with strength, courage, and support in every situation. Even when we may feel isolated or alone, we can find comfort in knowing that God is by our side, guiding and sustaining us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my Savior and Lord. Come reign in my heart, fill me with your love and your life, and help me become a truly loving person like you. Restore me, Jesus. Live in me. Love through me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.